to determine the worth of interest tax shields we need to compute present value of all the future streams of the interest tax shields a firm receives every year now let's see how interest tax shield will behave for a firm that has a target debt equity ratio for a firm that is a levered firm and there exist the corporate taxes in for us for such a firm the leverage allows tax benefits for its vag because uh, it reduces the uh, cost of debt or the of the firm with tax deductibility of the interest expense the effective after tax cost of debt can be computed by multiplying the uh, corporate rate uh, multiplying by the interest rate with the uh, differential of 1 minus the corporate tax rate and a, for a firm without taxes its vag is si simply the sum of the return that is available to its investors in line with the riskiness of the firm's assets this means that return or the vag for such firm is equal to the proportional cost of equity and the debt now if there exist some corporate taxes then the vag after tax will be computed and to determine the after tax vag or the r vag we need to uh, multiply 1 minus corporate tax rate with the proportional rate of the cost of debt of the firm this way the cost of debt of the firm will be reduced by the corporate tax rate and the resulting overall cost of capital or the vag will be termed as the after tax vag of the firm the r vag or the after tax vag is the firm's effective cost of capital once the benefit of interest tax shields are adjusted into the cost of debt of the firm now there exist also some relationship between the after tax vag and the firm's pre tax vag and that relationship can be understood understood with the help of an equation where r vag is the a difference between the pre tax vag and the interest tax shield so higher the interest tax shield the lesser would be the after tax vag and accordingly with the taxes a firm's target leverage ratio does not affect its vag because the that is the reason that uh, any firm with higher leverage can better exploit the more tax advantage of debt in order to lower its cost of capital or the vag now how the vag will move with and without corporate taxes to understand this issue we have a diagram on the screen where the red curve shows the equity cost of capital and the thick blue curve shows the after tax cost of debt capital and the debt cost of capital is simply the blue dotted line and by using the interest tax shield it is reduced to a certain amount as we can see in the form of thick blue line and where we see the pre tax vag or the unlevered cost of capital that is simply the firm's required rate of return which is based on the riskiness of its assets and that we see in the form of a constant which is horizontal yellow dotted line but whereas the effective cost of debt or the after tax cost of capital or vag is concerned it declines with the interest tax shield and that we see here in the form of thick yellow line which is showing decreasing trend now high interest tax shield will behave where the firm has a target debt equity ratio we see that many of the firms like to maintain a specific debt equity ratio instead of maintaining a constant amount of debt every year 
दिस पॉलिसी अलाउस अ फर्म टू ग्रो इट्स डेट और श्रिंक इट्स डेट इन लाइन इट्स साइज बाई एडजस्टिंग डेट ओवर द टाइम अलाउज डेट एक्विटी रेशो टू मेंटेन एट अ सर्टन लेवल दिस मीन्स दैट दिस पॉलिसी ऑल्सो अलाउज द फर्म टू मेंटेन इट्स डेट एक्विटी रेशो एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट लेवल एंड सच फर्म्स वैल्यू और द वी एल कैन बी डिटर्मेंड बाय डिस्काउंटिंग इट्स प्री कैश फ्लोज ओवर द फर्म्स कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल and whereas the present value of interest tax shield for such levered firm is concerned uh, it is based on the uh, discounting of the differential pre cash flows of a levered firm uh, by discounting them over the firm's cost of capital whereas uh, this firm's cost of capital will be treated as the unlevered cost of capital and by differential interest tax uh, differential cash flow means the ca difference between the levered firms cash flows and the unlevered firms cash flows now we have an example to uh, uh, determine the interest tax shields where we have expected future free cash flows of 4.2 million dollars free cash flows growth rate is 4% equity cost of capital is 10% equity uh, debt cost of capital is 6% and the corporate tax rate is 35% the debt equity ratio that the firm is maintaining is 0.5 so what will be the value of interest tax shield as i have earlier said that the value of interest tax shield is basically the present value of the interest tax shield and to determine this present value of interest tax shield we need to determine the difference between the value of a levered firm and the value of an unlevered firm here we have the value of levered firm equal to 107 dollars and the unlevered firm value is 91 dollars so the difference of 16 million is termed as the present value of the interest tax shield now going into further how we determine the value of levered firm in this particular scenario levered firms present value can be determined by discounting its free cash flows over the difference between its vac and the growth rate and we get the answer of 107 million dollars to determine the present value of the unlevered firm we need to divide or discount the free cash flows over uh, its unlevered cost of capital and the growth rate so the free cash flows of the firm are divided over the difference between unlevered vac and the firm's growth rate that we have uh, uh, we have 91 million dollars so in this way the differential cash flows for both of the firms give the present value of the interest tax shield